Former Governor of Bauchi State, Mohamed Abubakar, says timely and effective management of results and announcements are critical for the integrity of any election. He said these in Abuja are the 15th annual public lecture organized by Joe Kiari Gedzama, which focused on the electronic transmission of election results. Celestina Area reports. Before now, elections in Nigeria gravitated around the manual collation of results from polling boards. The attendant effects of such manual collation in contemporary times have not bothered well for the country's democracy. For many years, voters, candidates and observers have lamented the continued manipulation of election results largely because the result management system has essentially been manual. It consists of official completing forms and carrying them by hand to the next level of aggregation and onward to the next level until overall result was declared. Many have been concerned that this process is prone to manipulation or even destruction of results. In recognition of the EU's of manual transmission and collation of results, INEX sponsored an amendment electoral bill in 2021, which was assented to by the President in 2022. The combined reading of Section 47, 60, 62 and 54 of the Electoral Acts 2022 was amended by the law, provides for the electoral collation and transmission of results. INEC has not developed a bimodal voter accreditation system, BEAVERS, assuring Nigerians of free and credible elections. To understand the working of BEAVERS and admissibility of the results produced by it, a one-day workshop was organized for relevant players in the industry. Because they have deployed very, very strong and state-of-the-art software to protect this service and protect the results while, while transmitted uh, uh, through beavers to the uh, servers in INEC, they were able to foil all attempts. Expect a new Nigeria where things work, where people do their jobs, and for the salaries for which they are paid. The chairman of INEC uh, assures Nigerian the people ask more questions. But today we have been educated sufficiently that we should have confidence in INEC, we should have confidence in this electronic transmission of results. There have been concerns about the availability of electricity in the transmission of this result and the admissibility of this result in court. But as long as the data contained in the electronic device are not affected by the electricity failure, the results are admissible. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.